and it ended up costing us a hundred and eighty dollars so this is the washroom where we want to put the ceiling and this is the after you can keep stripping and painting this is a way better solution so these are the genesis pvc ceiling tiles this is what they look like this is mdf this is cladding this entire living area and dining room also has those same tiles because it's so much easier anything that's easy is usually not as good i have to go to school to learn this school of hard knock have you heard of that school it's the hard knock life for us it's the hard knock life they're mold resistant and they're meant for drop-in ceilings so this is the washroom where we want to put the ceiling that's a new vent that i put in that's why there's a hole in there and then here we want to put the planks those planks just like we did upstairs the reason we're using these and not those is those are uh, polyesterine so they're styrofoam whereas these guys are pvc and there is a shower in here yeah odds of paint peeling is very low we're going to be putting this in there anyways as a decor piece to go with the wall you want to draw out a diagram of your ceiling trace out a pattern of how you will be cutting the tiles and then that way i know exactly how many tiles i need so we're going to be using the heavy duty gorilla construction adhesive i've never used this uh, apparently it's super fast um, i would normally use pl premium but this takes a long time to dry the third type of glue that we may consider using the type one adhesive this we were going to use for the these tiles here and then that's going to go all on the counter and the backsplash here or the acryl pro at least we have all the glues that could possibly work wow you're so strong 30 second gorilla glue let's see if it works mm -hmm. grab the broom so we're going to use thumbtacks into the in the ceiling so that way it sort of just sticks without us holding it i started in the corner because i don't have a perfectly rectangular or square ceiling from then on i measured out 23 and three quarters by 23 and three quarters and then, then you can see that i have to cut the kind of eyed where the next one is and then the next one and so on and then i numbered numbers of tiles this makes it easy for me to know exactly about how many tiles I need. Now we're going to take the second one and we need to cut that edge right there. So you want to cut less than what you think you need. That way, if you're off, you don't waste the tile. So we're going to try and get regular scissors. Um, this is PVC plastic. We're going to see how this goes. Ugh. Okay, so you can't use scissors. Our next choice is a blade like this. It does, but it's very difficult. Aluminum metal shears. Yep. So we're gonna be using this. You can see it sort of breaks off. Once you've cut it the two sides, we're gonna grab Acro Pro this time. We have to use this on all of this. It's about three times heavier, but uh, with the thumbtacks, it should work. This is about 20 bucks for the entire tub, whereas Gorilla is $13 for one of these. 266 mil versus 3.78 liter. Massive difference. Uh -huh. I can tell that the glue isn't as good as the Gorilla already. Because it's so much easier to dispense. Exactly. Anything that's easy is usually not as good. <laughs> Like if you have an easy job or if you go to school for an easy course i don't think you're gonna be make as much money as if you went to for like a eight-year course like dentistry uh -huh. i imagine taking out teeth is really difficult almost as difficult as what i'm doing here i have to go to school 
to learn this. School of Hard Knock. Have you heard of that school? It's the Hard Knock Life for us. It's the Hard Knock Life. I do recommend you grab yourself some tape to attach between the seams here and here. This is a contractor trick. We grab this duct tape here. So to hold on to the two, we're gonna tape up the edges to make sure that they are pretty perfect. And now, our assistant. Here we're gonna wrap it. Like that. Now we get a thumbtack. There. The next step is to grab the Alex acrylic latex caulking and we're gonna fill in the seams here. Now once you place a very thin layer, take your finger or a very damp Kleenex and just smooth it out. You keep doing it until you wipe off all the excess, creating a seamless panel. You can always wait for this to dry and then paint it. Now we're gonna dampen the cloth. Now we're gonna wipe the excess off. Gently go over both sides until all the excess is gone. Maybe you want to leave this drying for a few minutes before you do that. All right. Okay, at this point, we need to measure off the fan area so we can cut where the fan will be resting, so. Once you have your piece cut for the edging, we're gonna use a duct vent tape. We're gonna put this on the edges so each piece sort of butts right against it. By the end, we're gonna put silicone right in between the seams. So now we're gonna put thumbtacks into the areas that are definitely touching the ceiling, just so we're sure it's not gonna fall. We're also gonna tape this from the inside, make sure that at least some of it is gripping. And that is number three. It's time to start cutting the edges. So it's the last piece. And it's going right there in the corner. Once all the pieces are in, you take the silicone and just put caulking all the way around and it's gonna look pretty nice and seamless. Next time someone mentions drop-in PVC tiles, know that you can also glue them to regular ceilings as well through the method that I showed you in this video because you would never think that you can actually make them stick. Looks great. And it's, I cut around the tiles here. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I did end up using a grinder to help me cut versus the aluminum shears. So that made things a lot easier. And the way it looks, it just does not have to be painted. You just gotta make sure that you clean your seams I highly recommend this as an upgrade. We ended up doing two bathrooms with one set of tiles and it ended up costing us $180 with all the glues. This is a really nice addition to the decor in this house. These are the styro polyesterine tiles and they look really nice. This is MDF. This is cladding, right? And you can see that this entire living area and dining room also has those same tiles. Something like this is truly beautiful upgrade to your home. So this took only a couple of hours and it definitely makes an impact. More importantly, it covers the bad areas that I had, which was the hole in the vent and some of the peeling of paint. If you want one solution that solves all your problems for long lasting ceilings that are impenetrable to moisture, I recommend you get yourself some PVC tiles. It depends on the style that you like. You may want to get yourself some uh, tiles from Talisa Decor, Home Depot, Lowe's, grown out Walgreens. You can keep stripping and painting. This is a way better solution. If you have any questions, then make sure you put them in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And for interviews, business advice, other entertainment, click the little bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Marcin, out.